Same file except for a couple OGGs changed. Look at all this stuff. Sprites, graphics, high res, nothing. See that? This and this are the same. But Slade doesn't see it. Fair warning. Oh. <clears throat> Let me start this again. Auto. Fair warning to people editing things in Slade. Slade is a really awesome Doom editor, but it has some issues here. Take a look at this. Alright, I downloaded this a long time ago. It's called Hellstorm. The Hellstorm waits for you. <laughs> See how dark it is? That's the first thing I did was I got rid of the shitty darkness. Huh. The new menu interface. Oops. New game. Normal. This is all different than the one I downloaded. Look how dark it is. Oh. Look at this. Busted control. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. So the cool thing about Doom mod, Doom editing mods, when you download somebody's Doom mod, if there's things you don't like about it, you can change. One of the first things I always change about anybody's Doom mod is uh, a lot of times when you fire your gun, your screen will jerk up. And I see, I prefer using a controller when I play Doom. So the right analog stick that would look up and down this. I've used this controller for so much, it's busted. There's no more dead zone in the stick, I had to adjust everything. So I'm used to uh, playing it like in the old fashioned days, where you only turn left and right and don't look up and down, because you don't really need to. I like that it's simpler that way. But when you do that, <clears throat> then you have a problem with your screen going up when you look at the ceiling, I'll show you. Ready? So a lot of people do that. If you're going to change the pitch when you fire your gun so your screen jerks up, you should reset the pitch so the screen goes back down because not everyone's using mouse look and free look all the time. Anyway, there's Hellstorm 2.5. I did a little search. I forget which one I'm using. <clears throat> but I downloaded this a long time ago. And the first thing I did was I got rid of that dark lighting. So, this right here, I'm going to copy it because I copied it like a whole bunch of times. Just paste it on the desktop. Alright. Now let's try it again. And this is a really, really cool mod, by the way. So here's an older version. Pretty simple. So there it is, it works great. I copied that over to, um, <clears throat> here. And I made some few adjustments to it, okay? Hear that? Different gun sound. Yeah, I mean, I, I just like to customize people's Doom mods so I can enjoy it more. Huh.
I never noticed, but there's a face in the corpse of the Deep One. A little face in there. Well, how about that? Anyway, I, I do this all the time. That's why I like playing Doom mods, is because you can change the... You can change everything, if you want to. Sounds, graphics... You should be able to do that with all video games. But, uh... I was in the process of editing this just for fun, just for personal use. Now look what happens. Hellstorm fixed. Watch. <gasps> Where is everything? That's so bizarre. This makes no sense. It's really strange. I don't know how Windows and Slade and all these programs make these uh, zip files, is what they are, but... I wonder why it... there's nothing there. Textures, look, zero bytes. Archives, zero bytes. All we have are decorates. It, it's supposed to have a folder for sprites. All this stuff over here. All the guns. There's the sprites, the guns. Everything. See that? High res folder. ACS, the code. Sounds. See all these separate directories and all the stuff in here? It's not findable. For some reason, it's, it's gone. You can't see it. Why? But everything is still there. It's still the same size. This is a very strange thing that happens with Slade. I've noticed. It's happened uh, to me a few times. Hellstorm. Everything is there. And yes... Yes, if, if anybody's wondering, I have restarted this computer. Completely. I shut it down for a full ten minutes. I made sure everything was off. I unplugged every single thing from all the USBs. I unplugged it from the wall. I unplugged all everything. And I let it sit for 10 minutes and started it again. And I reinstalled Slade. And yeah, I am using an older version of Slade because the newer one is has more glitches. And by the way, what the hell is going on here? I've covered this a whole bunch of times. What is with this... Whenever I'm recording on here, it, it's, it stays still, but this thing flickers green so you can't see the um, images anymore. Really strange. No, don't save anything. <laughs> That's where I downloaded it again. If you want to mess around with PK3s, you can... Um, change the extension. Like here, I'll show you, if anybody doesn't know. A PK3 is just a zip file, so all you have to do is change the extension. Yes. Oops, let me show you. Do you want to change it? Yes. And if you can't see the extension, you can just go down to settings and type in uh, show file extensions. It'll give you that in settings. Really easy to find. And then extract it. And everything will come up in Windows Explorer. No, and we'll skip all this stuff. The duplicates. Excuse me. Well, you get the idea. I'm not going to do this right now. Stop it. I'm not doing that right now. But there's all the stuff. I got the wads and all that. Yeah, just a really weird thing. Again, here it is. You can see it's 60 megs, 59.3 megabytes. I saved it again and again and again and again because I kept trying to... It, I don't know why this file is cursed. Hellstorm is cursed. Really weird. I was doing a search on that, how to fix it. Nobody knows anything. This person says he was editing a PK3. 
just added a few extra things, that's what does it, the straw that breaks the camel's back. I literally changed, everything was working fine, I opened it in Slate, it was fine, I closed it, I opened it again. I changed one sound file, I replaced a, a wave of the gun, the pistol you just heard with a, a, a dot .ogg, which I liked it more. Oh, and the shotgun, I grabbed the shotgun from the game Shadow Man. So it's, uh, I love that sound. It sounds a lot better. And I replaced the gun sprites. Where are we? Here. I still have this file. Hellstorm fixed. It's really fun to play. It's really awesome the way I fixed it, but I can't do anything else with it now ever again, apparently. It's been archived. See, look. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Listen to this. That's the Time Splitter's Colt Pistol. Now listen to this, I love this sound. That's from Shadow Man, Acclaim. So there it all is. If I turn this into a zip file and extract it, I get the same situation. Doom folder. Hellstorm. See how many times I, I, I did this a whole bunch of times and deleted these folders. Where's the sounds directory? It's not there. Maybe it was replaced with the marker, I don't know. Hmm. Really weird. Definitely something to be aware of. Make backups of all your stuff. I didn't get the error that this guy got. What is this? DDE poke request failed. A request for synchronous poke transaction has timed out. Even this member here even says, I have no idea what that means. Did not even know Slade could have such an error message. I'm also surprised that the Slade error is not written. And you can see this person did everything you're supposed to do. Uninstalled it, reinstalled it, restarted. Now, look at what Neverlander says. Neverander. The weirdest error message I've ever seen. Some quick searching looks like it's related to servers for some sort of reasons. Very strange and unfortunately I have no idea what could cause Slade to give that. That's a very strange mystery, isn't it? Something tells me there's a reason we should be watching this and documenting this, because server errors? What does that have to do with Slade? This is an offline program. Slade is. There's no connection to servers, right? It's not like BitTorrent here. <laughs> Where did I put Slade? Here it is. Let me see if I can load it from this hard drive. Now, fortunately, um, all this is copied to several of, um, uh, sorry, several of these right here, external hard drives, flash drives, I have anything that's important is backed up like 50,000 times. So, oops, where was I? Hellstorm fixed. Let me just copy it again, if I can. There. Let's open this one, see what happens. Hmm. Looks like everything's still here. Okay. So that's it. Now go back here. Uh, current test folder. Look. Every time I save this thing again, I get the same problem. Hellstorm. Fortunately, this is not a big deal, because I, you know, this is someone else's mod. I only made slight adjustments to it. Hellstorm fixed. This is basically a copy of the exact file. I only changed a couple things in it. And look. Nothing. Everything is still here, it's the same size, but there's nothing in here that should be here. This is an empty marker of zero bytes. 
empty marker, zero bytes. This is the exact same file except for a couple OGGs changed. Look at all this stuff. Sprites, graphics, high res, nothing. See that? This and this are the same, but Slade doesn't see it. And every single time I save Hellstorm, uh, or do anything with it, everything's gone. So it's really, really bizarre. I don't know what this is or what causes it. Anybody know? Anyway, whatever you do, if you're editing anything in Slade, if you edit anything in Slade at all, make sure you copy it and paste it somewhere else and do that 10 times. And then make sure you keep doing that every time you edit in Slade. This is the third time this has happened to me with Slade in about five years. So that's pretty good. It's not consistent, but when it happens, it's bad. So... Is there any way to recover this broken PK3 that's not really broken? Of course, nobody knows anything. I always get the problems that when I search in the mods, everybody gets responses like, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. This has never happened to me. And these are experts, too. These people are very smart. I've, I've read through the forums of Doom World and ZDoom, and um, these people are extremely smart programmers, in my humble opinion. I think they are. They know what they're doing. And this is the response. People say things like, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. This has never happened before. I don't know what this is. It has to do with servers instead of configuration files, which is bizarre. Hi, I'm building a PK3. Plays fine uncompressed. Once you compress it, things disappear, but it's still there. Computers are fucking weird, man. Okay. Word to the wise. No loss today, fortunately. Everything backed up. <laughs> Lol, this, this person had a bad time. This did happen to me with um, my Time Splitters Doom mod way, way back in the day. I spent a very long time perfecting this Time Splitters Doom mod. Fortunately, everything was backed up, you know, in Windows directories. But I had this exact thing happen to me, I don't know, seven years ago or so. I still have a copy of the PK3 with the same amount of megabytes in it. I think it was even a gigabyte. There you go, word to the wise about Slade. Mystery never solved, even by the smartest programmers. No one has a clue.